The Texas legislative session kicks off in just a few months and a top priority is going to be the state budget. So far, Texas has lost more than half a billion dollars in sales tax revenue because of the pandemic. Our Greg Chandler spoke to a member of the legislative delegation about what that loss is going to do to us. The election is over and the 87th Texas legislature starts in a little more than two months. In 2019, lawmakers passed a $250 billion budget, but say this year's number may not be as big. We get a double whammy, uh, we get hit with a pandemic uh, and the price of oil and gas crashed. District 20 State Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa vice chaired the Senate Finance Committee in 2019. He says the pandemic has taken a toll on state revenues. Our revenue stream coming into the state budget sort of dried up. Uh, we're now facing a $4.7 billion uh, deficit. The pandemic forced the city to adjust its budget but the revenue shortfalls weren't nearly as bad as expected. Hinojosa says the state's shortfall is manageable thanks to the often talked about rainy day fund. That's previous budget surpluses tucked away and saved for when the state needs it. We have approximately $8.6 billion in savings. If our deficit is somewhere around $5 billion, más o menos, uh, we'll be okay. But if cuts are necessary, Hinojosa says the state will have to prioritize. He says he believes health care and other essential services will get first dibs on funding. Education is a priority, uh, security is a priority, infrastructure is a priority. Uh, I don't think the cuts will be deep. In Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. And Senator Hinojosa says lawmakers are going to get another update in late December, maybe early January. The 87th Texas legislative session begins on January 12th.